So, here we are. Here I am. And uh, I was thinking. I should shoot a video about the solution to the sawmill issue. That heavy mass motor. <laughs> and that's the way. That's the truth of it. Heavy ass motor. And how to how to uh, adjust for it. So when I was passing through Alabama, I stopped in. Don't blow smoke in your face, right? So and uh, and Robert, my young guy that knows the sawmills, um he posed a solution and I, I like it and now that I'm here and I'm looking at it so this is the front end right so the lift lift mechanism is chain comes up wraps over this top uh, shaft and then it goes under and then this is like a tensioner because we have two loose ends. So this takes the wild end on the back side and just guides it up. So we got one on both sides. And because the, the motor is so heavy on the back side, what I'm gonna do the solution is actually get a better view from the other side. Hang on while we change our position. <clears throat> it's kind of dark in here. There's a little bit of snow. We'll go up the vertical stairway. So we can, I got a plank here and do a top view. This is the, the critical one that is, is, um, shows it all. So we're going to do, so on their big sawmills, they, they have another set of chains on the back side of the whole motor platform that comes up and they have a, oh, a different configuration than what I'm going to do, but it's the same concept. So all I need to do is, is weld some tabs out this back side of the motor and I have a place to mount just like this, the pillow block and the shaft. So it'll sit here, the shaft will run behind the motor. So this still has seven inches to come up to its maximum. But I've got plenty of clearance. I got plenty of room. Another pillow block here. I'll do another set of sprockets to come up and come across 90, or you know, it'll do a 90. The 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 chain will come across, and there'll be another. I'll have to take all this apart, and we'll put another keyway in here in this shaft and mount another sp sprocket right here and I will put make sure I don't fall so this whole assembly I'm gonna just I may end up having to make another shaft but I'll stick the shaft out here and put another idler in this space and there's plenty of room and then I'll do the same thing I'll, I'll order all these parts from Cooks. I'll get another one of these keepers. Spring assembly, all of that. See, this whole end is just, it's just being tensioned by this spring. It's just like keeping track of it. All the tension is here. This is where all the weight of the this whole system now is being held here. So I'm going to pick up off the back side, come up and over, down, and back up. And it's, I don't see anything that's, that's telling me that's not going to work. A little bit of effort, a little bit of parts, but I think all the engineers out there, I think you'll concur it's going to be the solution. 
because that motor just is so heavy that it's that it, the whole head rides on on one inch rods and i don't like the fact of you know the the stress on the rods and the bushings and this is going to be a solution for long term and i'm thrilled i get to be home i get to look at my sawmill i get to decide it's going to work i need about uh 30 i need about 55 maybe 60 inches of extra chain besides you know maybe not but i can always cut chain i'm going to order extra chain um and i'll order all my parts from cooks and as i pass back through when i head back in end of march i'll be able to bring all the parts with me and and then have fun building it okay so here we are in the in the in the building and it's still hard to see it won't it won't all make sense until i get i get all of this uh old building down all these all these interior things all these this all this this whole system the legs um it's gonna just open open it all up you see here's the here's the the back wall right i've got I've got the, my vertical rafters in, purlins on. There's a few more to be completed down here and that, but the uppers are in. And then a little bit of the the upper upper structure. And then all of this I just gotta hang on. You know, here's here's the the rest of the the building. Yeah, Edgar's been very curious about how it all fits together. Um, he's a very curious guy. Leroy's sleeping. He's in his winter hibernation. And so with that, I will say adios. Bye-bye.